<laughs> so the topic of the of the talk is why the fuck does Rails not run callbacks on nested attributes? Uh, but actually, it kind of does because I tried to put together a demonstration proving that it didn't, and it was doing completely erratic things. So it, there's a there's a the newest GitHub repo under my GitHub account. See if you can figure out what's going on there and, and let me know. Uh, but most Ruby libraries we work on these days follow the basic principle of least surprise. They do what you expect them to do. And one would expect that nested attributes would be generally the same thing as running update attributes on your child objects, but that it definitely is not. So I bet you don't believe me when I tell you that callbacks don't do what you expect. Uh, that that's just crazy. Why would why wouldn't they? Well, they they don't. Uh, this is the code for accepts nested attributes for, and as you can see, it uses autosave association. And if you've ever asked anyone about autosave associations. They'll say, yeah, don't ever use that. This is why. On a save associations, this is its save method. And if you look really closely, or at the very top of the screen, you'll see that it calls save false, or in Rails 3, it calls save callbacks false. What the hell? This was reported on Rails 3 as a bug and fixed in Rails 3.2. This is the actual issue with code and tests and it says closed not merged since this is 3.0 stable and it's no longer maintained. Okay, well maybe we can override this behavior with a library of some sort. Or, you know, upgrading a Rails 3.2. That's not that far away. We're only on 2.6. <laughs> well, I wrote a library. And this actually does the same thing that Rails 3.1 appears to do. So uh, mm -hmm. there's the gist for it. And if you would like to figure out why this doesn't work the way you would expect it to, uh, feel free. I miss back when Rails was simple. This is really a pain in the ass. Oops. So, I'm probably just going to take this one situation where we're running into it and just, you know, remove the accepts nested attributes and create a setter. And the problem will be solved. Um, but yeah. <coughs> so, it actually does run callbacks if you use that uh, library or if you're using Rails 3.1 but none of the attributes have setters or getters uh, they do, they always return nil so I don't know what's going on there That's you it. haven't gotten like this for like a week, right? Uh, no, no. Oh.